vaping. It's apparently one of the worst things in the world if you're listening to the news and what all these political figures say and all these lawsuits that are going on. But is vaping really that big of a deal? Are they really targeting little kids with all their advertising and all this stuff? Well, that's what we're going to be talking about today, seeing if vaping is really that big of an issue or if it's just more of a straw man type thing. Let's dive into it. So recently in the news, Juul's been hit with a lawsuit, and I guess they're having to pay a lot of fines because apparently their advertising is really kid-friendly, and they're kind of trying to incentivize kids to vape. Uh, what are you talking about? Because they have fruity flavors? Honestly, I've seen like two Juul ads, and I haven't seen anything that I was just like, shit, dude, that's totally gonna get a kid into this. Do you have any idea how much fruity flavored alcohol there is? Before I started recording this video, I was drinking an orange flavored beer. I have strawberry lemonade beer in my fridge. I have pink lemonade vodka on top of my fridge. Why is this a problem with vaping? And we're not talking about all these other industries. There are flavored cigars. I think there's flavored cigarettes, flavored alcohol. Why are we talking about vaping specifically here? I think vaping might be slightly better than alcohol, depending on the moderation of it. I mean, I know alcohol can be really detrimental to your health if you're doing it in excess. And I'm someone who loves alcohol. So don't watch this video thinking I'm trying to get rid of all alcohol and make those only just straight up ethanol, because that wouldn't be fun at all. I think at that point, if you're thinking vaping is specifically targeting kids then you're probably just looking at a problem that isn't really there just because there's fruity flavors doesn't mean that it's automatically oriented towards kids some people don't really like the taste of cigarettes so in the state i live in they banned all flavored e-cigarette fluids and all that type of stuff but you could still get them every vape shop i go to as long as you know what to say and you go to the right place you can easily get the stuff that's banned illegal yes but it's still doable so why would they decide to do that? Oh, because all these flavors are really indoctrinating little kids into the the economy of vaping. Uh, no, I just don't like tobacco flavoring. I would much rather inhale some cotton candy flavored shit as opposed to smelling like I'm burning a dead rat that was out in my garage for a week. Like, cigarettes don't smell good, they don't taste good, uh, so if I was addicted to cigarettes, yeah, I'd probably want to wean off of that by going to something that tastes and smells just a little bit better. I mean, hell, I mean, I know vaping's like a newer industry and it's not as regulated as, say, the alcohol and tobacco industry, but seriously, you're looking at a problem that isn't really super pertinent. You're thinking vaping is this thing that just came out of nowhere and absolutely everybody started to do it. I mean, yeah, a lot of people have switched over to vaping from cigarettes, but do you think kids weren't smoking cigarettes before? Back when I was in high school, there was a little corner just outside of where the school was that kids would go every morning and afternoon to smoke cigarettes because technically it wasn't on school property, so they couldn't do anything to you. I'd be riding the bus to school, and as I'm passing that corner, there's a group of 10 kids there that are smoking cigarettes. And of course, those people kind of dwindled off when vaping became popular because it was much easier to hide vaping. But if you think kids weren't smoking cigarettes, cigars, or doing chew beforehand, you're dumb. It's not like vaping is this new thing that absolutely everybody gravitated to. When I was a kid before vaping was a thing, I did chew before. I had smoked cigarettes before. Not a fan of either of those things. Of course, there's going to be a few instances of people that are like, ah, oh, that looks like it might taste good, it might look a little fun, everyone else I know is doing it, blah blah blah. So of course they're going to do it, but that's kind of the same thing with everything. Thing. You're around groups of people, groups of people do certain things, typically you want to fit in so you're going to do similar things to what the group does. If you hang around people that don't vape, they're not all going to pressure you to vape. If you're around a group of people who vape, of course, yeah, you're more likely to do it. It's the same thing with alcohol or weed or any of that stuff. If you're around it more, you're more likely to do it. I don't like cigarettes, I don't like the smell of cigarettes. If my friends started smoking cigarettes, I wouldn't even be near them while they do it. You're <laughs> I haven't looked at a single Juul marketing campaign or anything of those vape flavor things. I've been like, wow, they're really making this kid friendly. I play Clash Royale almost daily, and that's probably a little more harmful than these vaping ads. I mean, you go to the store in Clash Royale, and you gotta scroll quite a bit until you can buy things with your gems. Most of it's like, hey, you wanna pay five bucks for the monthly pass? You wanna pay five bucks for this chest? I think that's a little more harmful, because that's actually a monetary thing. I mean, given your health is pretty important too, and I'm just kinda rambling at this point, ain't I, buddy? Again, I think they're more so looking at a problem that isn't super pertinent, or the problem isn't there. It's not, you're just kicking a can down the road without actually picking it up at this point. There's so many other things that are an issue in this world, and you're looking at vaping. Of course, there should be more regulation in it, but you shouldn't be banning flavors because, oh, kids will see 
a, a strawberry flavored liquid and go to it. There are strawberry flavored beer and, and vodka and other things like that. I got a like grape flavored cigar before. Like <laughs> this isn't exclusive to vaping. So why is it not okay for vaping, but it's okay for every other industry? And again, this is not me saying get rid of it in all the other industries, uh, because I don't want to drink straight up Bud Light or Alphenol my whole life. Now I want some flavor in this bitch. And when it comes down to vaping, it's just easy to get, but so is everything else. I mean, there are so many vape shops that don't ID, but that's also the same way with alcohol. There's so many gas stations I go to that don't ID. So many local stores I go into that don't ID. This isn't a problem with the companies themselves. It's a problem with the people you're hiring to actually do the job. They're breaking the law by not IDing. And of course, if someone looks older, you're not really required to do it. But when I was in like 10th grade, there was some dude who looked like he was 27. Like he was like six foot tall and had a full beard. He probably could have walked into a liquor store and bought a bottle of Jack Daniels and not get ID'd for it because the dude did not look like he was like 16. This is a giant rant video because I think this whole problem with vaping and it's targeting kids is so stupid. I really haven't seen a commercial for vaping or any of those sort of products in quite some time, but I see it for alcohol all the time. And I have cotton candy flavored moonshine in my house. Another main argument I see is, oh, but they're going to get addicted to it because of all these flavors. Uh, you can get addicted to literally anything. It's not exclusive to alcohol and tobacco and those things. You can be addicted to vaping. You can be addicted to weed. You can be addicted to sex, sleep, video games. There is an endless list of things you can be addicted to because at the end of the day, it doesn't have to be a physical addiction. It can also be a mental, emotional addiction. So stop bringing that into the table because then we should apply that to literally everything. If you didn't intend on doing it before, you're not going to do it. It has nothing to do with this advertising. I know I'm generalizing it completely, but like all advertising, no matter who you're trying to sell to, is you want to apply it to the most people possible. Alright, that's really going to do it for this rant today. I don't know why I decided to make this video, but I was just seeing some things being posted and said, and I was just like, dude, this is such a dumb argument. I need to put in my two cents for that 12 people that are going to end up watching this video. So thank you guys for sticking around and watching this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates.